do you have problems moving columns around in Excel? Um, I have done and I normally go into Power Query to answer this so Power Query does it really well but sometimes if you go into Power Query it's going to chuck the data out the other side and there must be another way so I'm going to show you how to move columns around in an Excel table and this is a really useful thing the first thing we've got to do is make sure our data is an Excel table so what I've done with this data is I've gone to the formats table menu that's this one here and I've just chosen a design is. when you do that it will ask you the range just choose OK and um, I have got some other videos on Excel tables so if you wanted to go back and look at them then please do so so this is a table and it works slightly different to if you were just moving a column in just normal data which is why I haven't quite it wasn't until today that I thought you know what I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this because there's got to be an easy way so let's say for instance in this data here we wanted this let's get my drawing right okay we wanted the amount column to be here okay so we want to pick the column up and we want to move it and if you've tried doing this inside Excel tables it may well have frustrated you to the point you've just given up anyway so let's show you how we can do it so I'm going to click on the word amount in C1 and let me just zoom in on there so you can see that and then I'm going to move my mouse uh, just onto so I didn't like me zooming in there let's try again start that again so click on the word amount and then I'm going to relocate my mouse so that it looks like a four headed arrow so like an arrow with four spikes coming out of it um, otherwise, so, so to get that, you need to really hover around this area here so that your cursor's on the green line. So let's try that again. So I get that four headed arrow. When I've got that, and just bear in mind, I've not got anything selected, I'm just on the column heading. I hold my mouse down, kind of ignoring what Excel's doing because it's selected the whole column, drag over make sure and I don't know if you can see on my screen I've got a faint faint green line appeared between columns D and E and let go and there we go so let's do that again so let's try it with the company column so I'm going to click on B1 the heading I'm going to go into locate move my mouse so I get the spiky cross when I get the spiky cross I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down and then I'm going to drag until the column appears so a green line appears to show where the column's going to land I'm going to let go Ooh, hold on let me and sometimes it does that so let's just do it again there we go yeah you sometimes have to watch because if you when you drag you move your mouse slightly down it will kind of drag it sort of diagonally so when you drag try and keep your mouse on a horizontal level rather than dragging down so let's do that once more let's move invoice number so click on invoice number spiky cross click on your mouse button and just drag until that green line appears between the columns that you want and let go so try that it's a little bit fiddly to do but it does save a lot of time um, if we want to move rows it's slightly different I'm going to show you that so what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight a row and notice when I highlight the row I don't go to row 3 because that's going to do all the row right along to FXD over there I'm actually going to highlight just the row within the table so if I hover between the 3 and the cell so if I just draw a little box of where I would need to position my mouse so what you need to do is you need to position your mouse sort of there and it's a solid black arrow and it will just be on the line between the two and it needs to look like a solid black arrow pointing to the right so when I bring that up in a minute you'll see what I mean so there we go a solid black arrow pointing to the right it's on row four and you can see it's kind of crossing the dividing line between the row number and the row itself okay click once it's just highlighted that row and now I can get that spike and I can just drag down and you'll see the green line just coming up to show me where it's going to place that row and I let go 
here. So let's just do that again. So we select the row, just make sure that the arrow is between the row number and the row. And then we get the spike and we can drag up or down depending on where we want. So I hope that's helped because moving rows and columns is a lot more difficult than it really needs to be. I think they could make it a lot easier. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Um, do subscribe and like my channel if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.